Hello YouTube, this is Arts Tools, and in today's tutorial, we'll be showing you how to use the blending option in Photoshop. Photoshop. And um, for an example, I'll, sh I'll just show you this uh, background that I gave away for free yesterday. And yeah, as you can see, I was using the blending option. Most of this is overlay, some of it is different. Um, anyways, all these shapes, there's a lot of different things that I blended in. Uh, yeah, so it looks kind of nice. So, anyways, let's create a new file. File new. Doesn't matter what the dimensions are. Okay. Uh, let's fill our background with black. So, edit, fill, uh, contents, use black. Okay. Now, let's create a new layer and let's create a gradient circle which will be red color in this case so yeah let's grab a brush tool let's change this to a gradient circle and hardness put hardness to zero size to uh, whatever fits the screen so about a thousand two hundred will be good and change the color to red and then okay and yes let's just click here click in the middle okay let's create another layer and this will be for our shapes so let's grab a brush tool again and let's change it to some technical shapes and we'll just place them all over the screen oh crap don't forget to make this white color so yeah Uh, yeah, just place a bunch of shapes here. Okay, so it just looks random. And let's grab some, uh, some lines. Let's just put them all over the place, like Apex Predator does in his backgrounds. If you've seen, he's the one that made uh, FPS Russia background. Okay. So let's just make this smaller. Sh hold shift to keep the aspect of aspect ratio of the shapes and just let's just flip this. I don't know, just mess around with it. Uh you can delete some parts if you want to. It's up to you. Just like that. Okay. So this is nothing, it's not going to look anything in particular, it's just going to be random. Just to show you how to use this uh, option. And some of you may know how to do this, so don't dislike the video if you do. Uh, anyways, if you want to blend this in with our background, you simply select this layer, which is the shapes. And then here where it says normal, change this to overlay. Yes, overlay works the best. Okay, so you can see it's blended in with our background now. Well, with our red shape or red circle, I should say. Uh, and then what you want to do is just grab some uh, random Cinema 4D shapes, which you can get in my um, in my GFX pack. I think it's a 400 subscribers GFX back, I'm not sure. Um, not sure where it was. Um, um, um. It's the ones I like to use is Sens 4K render pack. Uh, I don't know, I downloaded it off of some guy. I guess his name is Sens, something like that. Uh, and then, yeah, just grab some abstract shapes. Um, not gonna be using that one. Not these ones. Yeah, something like that. But I want uh, the color to be red. Uh, okay, let's find the red color. Uh, I guess the black and white will do. We'll just put a black and white shape in there. Okay, just put it like that. 
uh, yeah, set it down, then hit enter, and then select the delete tool and just click on it and click OK. OK, now, now let's blend this in. So, change the blending mode of this. I don't remember exactly what it was. I'll have to look back into the other one. Where is the shapes? Okay, so the blending mode is exclusion. Uh, exclusion, exclusion. Yeah, there. Uh, and as you can see, it's not all the way the the shape in the background wasn't all the way into our you know our circle, so it didn't look like this. It looked kind of like more like this, like. Part of it is blended and part of it is not, so I'll just put it on this side where it blends in with the shapes. Okay, so enter. Um, okay, so now uh, to top this off, we need some uh, grunge, uh, grunge layer or grunge image. So I just have this image. I just got it off Google, so you can get the same one off Google too. Just type in red grunge or something like that. And just place it over here and hit enter. And then change the blending mode. Whatever fits, whatever looks the best. Uh, overlay looks to be the best now. Let's check back on this one and see which one I actually used. Oh, so I, I actually had two layer, two of these and one of them is overlay and the other one is multiply. So let's do that. Let's First let's grab a erase tool to make this an editable object. Just click on it and click OK. And I'll duplicate this layer. Make the first one uh, what, what was it? Overlay? I think it was overlay. Yeah, it was overlay and the other one multiply. Okay. So let this one's overlay, this one change this to multiply. Um, um, um where is it? Multiply. So as you can see, makes everything kind of dark. And that's what Apex Predator usually uses. And we sh we should move these uh these images back behind our shapes so that it's not less like as dark so these uh, this uh, random shape is not as dark so let's select them hold shift and select them and move it behind the shape behind the, the random shape not behind these uh, you know these technical shapes so as you can see it's nothing really like I'm not showing you how to make something that makes sense, but what in this tutorial what I was showing you is how to just use the blending option to achieve uh, kind of a grunge techni techno uh, effect. And as you can see, if I move it back, it looks kind of weird, and now it looks much better. Okay, I can make this bigger so that we can't see the borders and you can use this in your YouTube background or anything you want uh, as you can see I made it looks look all nice uh, I added some fire too so yeah I think you get the point uh, thank you for watching this video I hope you like it and please subscribe and see you next time